What's going on, people? This is Ben from Boy J Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing Nova Launcher Prime. Uh, this is my go to launcher out of all the ones I've tested from the Play Store. I prefer all the settings and everything that comes with the paid version. So uh, I'm going to run you through a couple things with it real quick. Uh, with any launcher that you download from the Play Store, first you're going to want to set that launcher uh, to be your default program to go to when you push your home button. So if you go ahead and push your home button, brings up this screen. I also have Apex Launcher installed. So uh, if I were to click this just once, it would t continuously bring this screen up whenever I'd push the home key. So go ahead and select Nova Launcher and always. But now each time I push the home key, it'll stay within Nova Launcher. All right, so um, right now the way I have it set up, if you push the home key again, once you're already at your home screen, it brings up this preview. From here is all your different pages that you can that you can add or subtract. You know, if you just want one page, you can do that. Uh, but it's a quick way to cycle through. If you want to get to a page that's far down to the right or left, you just click on it real quick here in the preview mode. So I go back to the home. Now, if I open up the settings, I have a ton of settings for you to choose from. Uh, I'll start off with this desktop. One of the things I like about Nova Launcher is the grid. You can add up to 12 rows and 12 columns. And that's great if you have a tablet with a larger screen to where you want to make your icons just a little bit smaller and have a, a more area to move widgets and uh, app icons around with. So that comes in really handy. Uh, next, you have the width margins. I have mine set to, to none. I don't prefer to really have any kind of margins. Uh, you can also have the search bar uh, be persistent at the top of the your, your screen. Any screen you go to, there will be a search bar at the top. Um, there's different scrolling effects. I have mine set to none, but uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll just select cube. Now, if I go back to my home screen, each time I, I turn to a new page, it has an effect. So if I can go back in and change it, they have a ton of different ones you can choose from here. Um, I have mine set to none because I, I generally prefer, prefer the uh, performance over appearance with a lot of the settings. Um, there's a bunch of little settings throughout here for the desktop. Uh, label icons, you can have it set where each icon you put on your, your screens, it'll say the name of the app underneath it. Uh, widget overlap is definitely a, a plus feature that I like uh, whenever you're dealing with other widgets like UCCW. Uh, you can overlap the different widgets if there's dead space on the screen to where it all looks like it's one widget, which is... a uh, comes in pretty useful. If we go back, uh, I got the drawer, the app drawer. Uh, you can change it uh, to vertical, horizontal, or list. I just stick with horizontal. And then this this also has different scroll effects that you can do too uh, with the app drawer. So if I just select one of these in and out, go home and go to my app drawer, it does different animations when you switch the screens just like that so that's kind of kind of handy too if you like the animations go back into the settings okay and the drawer uh, you can have infinite scroll where you scroll right through all of your uh, apps right into your widgets and then it'll turn around and go right back into the beginning of the app list again uh, one of these uh, plus features of the Prime account is this drawer groups. This is kind of handy if you want uh, little quick folders or tabs if you have a specific set of, uh, of uh, apps that you want to get to really quickly. Like in tab, you can just go ahead and add a tab and say if I want to add one for a social group. Say add. Then click the little pencil to edit it. Select apps. Uh, I'll put uh, Facebook and Google Plus. You just go back, go 
back again. If I go to my app drawer now, you'll see at the top, there's a, now a new tab called Social. If you click on that, then there's the two apps that you put in there. So that uh, that's a creative way to you know, have uh, basically like a hotkey to get to uh, particular apps you want to get to it real fast. So that's nice. That, and that is part of the, uh, the paid version of this app. Okay, if we go to Doc, uh, the Doc, another paid part of uh, functionality of this app is um, the Doc Pages. This can this will allow you to um, select how many pages you want to put in your Doc, and I'll show you this real quick. This is really useful um, for my folders that I create. You can swipe left and right on your dock to add you know additional things that keeps it you know off your screen take up you know screen clutter so you know you can put folders down there and then scroll back and there's your home screen all right go back into the dock uh, it's got a lot of the same settings with the margins uh, number of icons that you can put on the dock uh, the height you can adjust the size of the icons, which is nice. Um, and then dock as overlay. So there's a lot of settings here uh, for each one of these categories. Uh, under folders, you can choose what your folder looks like. Stack, grid, fan. Uh, let's see. Folder background, you can choose any one of these or create your own custom background, which is nice. If I go back, go back to look and feel. This is uh, where all your theming comes in to the way your icons look and everything. Uh, you click on icon theme. These are the installed themes that I have from the Play Store right now. Uh, you just select one and it applies it to all of your apps in your app drawer, in your folders, any, anywhere on your phone. So that's kind of nice if you go to the Play Store and just do a search for uh, Nova Launcher theme, and there's a ton of them out there. Uh, you can also adjust the icon size with a little percentage here, and it gives you a little reference of how big and how small you can make it. Uh, scroll speed. I have mine set to faster than light. Um, that basically just controls how fast you you scroll through. You know, it depends on if you have animations set on there or not. What the performance is going to be like. Uh, same with animation speed. All right, if I go back, uh, the paid version also comes with this gestures and buttons. Uh, this is good if you're into gestures. Uh, you can. Here's a whole list of them right here. Pinch in, pinch out. Uh, two fingers swipe up all this kind of stuff. You can set an action for, for each one of these gestures. Uh, I'm not big on gestures, so I don't really get into all this, but uh, but I mean, if you are, this is great. I mean, you click on one and it gives you, you know, all these different Nova actions that you can do. Uh, you can run apps or even shortcuts by just uh, simply doing a gesture anywhere on your, your screen. Uh, unread counts. This is a plugin that you download from the Play Store as well. Uh, if I go to my home screen, my little SMS icon down there uh, next to my cont, if I were to get a text message, then a number one would pop up there showing that I have an unread message. So that's, that's kind of cool. And then you have backup and import. Uh, this is nice because um, I flash a lot of ROMs uh, continuously, and uh, you know I got sick and tired of having to go and set up my launcher each time after I'd flash a ROM, and it just gets annoying. Uh, that's kind of why I've gone to a more minimalist kind of theme because it's easier. But with this, you can actually back up your desktop of how everything's set up with uh, with your layout and in your folders and and everything it backs up everything and it's it's extremely simple just click backup you can choose the name of it and just push ok and that's it created backup saves it to your SD card and you're good to go and you can also once you flash a new ROM or whatever you're, you're doing uh, 
if you delete Nova and then you end up coming back to it and you have that file saved, just click restore and then that's it. You have your old setup back. So, so this is about it. I mean, uh, there's a lot of cool functions with, with Nova Launcher. Um, it's really a preference whether uh, what launcher you like, you know, if it's Apex or Nova or, or whatever. Um, each person has their own preference. But uh, this is my opinion on this app. I love it. Uh, I, I fully support um, buying the paid versions of apps if you, you know, truly enjoy that app and want to see further development of it. Uh, then go ahead and buy it. So, anyways, I hope this video has helped you out uh, with uh, researching launchers, and I'll be submitting some more videos here pretty soon on other apps. And thank you for watching.